Fish Story News Items The Philippine and Indonesian coasts provide 85% of marine ornamentals traded globally. A typical saltwater aquarium setup cost in the U.S. is about $2,000, and annual maintenance averages about $1,400. For decades, healthcare professionals have set beauty as a bulwark against rage. To a soothing hum backed by a rising bubble flow, behind glass, in a gentle glow, colorful saltwater fishes from afar rhythmically swim to and fro, move hypnotically within many medical waiting rooms. Placed there because 1980s studies found that fish tanks relax, relax patients and may reduce perceived pain and impatience. Meanwhile, behind their doors, the physicians try to look seriously professional, like men and women who took the course and aced their boards. Expert healers, entitled, specialists determined not to spend more than 12 minutes with each patient. Despite this emphasis upon process over outcome, physicians still lag behind plan, make patients wait too long, schedule unrealistically, fuel the anger and impatience bubbling just below the surface in their waiting rooms. Because of this, the medical community finds it necessary to deploy as many as 300,000 saltwater aquariums meant to mesmerize those they forced to sit too long. Saltwater ornamentals, however, are not bred in captivity, so the colorful Pisces displayed must be plundered, mostly from Pacific waters. Too often, the pretty fish are collected by divers using cyanide or even dynamite instead of nets. Both poison and explosives are so destructive to marine environments that many areas exploited at the start of the great increase in this trade in living creatures 25 years ago are now devastated. To stock the tens of thousands of insatiable medical waiting room tanks, the catchers of fish and living coral are forced to find and ravage ever new gathering grounds. On the other hand, recently a Portland, Oregon oceanarium proved that a live under seascape video feed displayed on a flat screen TV can be just as calming and placating to those trapped, fearful, and impatient in medical reception areas. Undersea screensavers, too, claim to cast similar spells. So the next time you see a fish tank in a waiting room, press your nose to the glass, take in the lovely scene, and consider saltwater aquariums in medical facilities likely add at least four hundred twenty million dollars annually to overhead expenses in the United States. Might this be just another easy way to cut costs in the American sickness system?